this is going to be uh, an issue that gets bigger and bigger and in, uh, in our opinion the kinds of things that are yet to fully come uh, the premium increases in my opinion have just begun I mean if you're an insurance company and you were looking to project your rates for 2014 really that started last spring mm -hmm. they start to put together their projections of rates and then obviously those get announced in the fall you get your premium increases so if you were sitting last spring and you were at or Cigna or one of the insurance companies and you were projecting your rates for 2014 one it was a bit of a crapshoot mm -hmm. and one of the things you had to project was so in these new exchanges, how many of these young, healthy people that really don't need much health insurance, but we're going to charge them big rates because we need their money, how many of them are going to sign up? Because that's really where the money comes from. And what's happening is they're not. They're not. Young people are, are saying, I don't want to pay for two or three or four times more health care than I need or want. And uh, frankly, at the end of the day, the, uh, if I have to, the $95 uh, tax, mm -hmm. um, you know, is, is worth it. I'll just pay that. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and I can go buy a high deductible <coughs> policy and still pay the $95 and be better off. A non-complying mm -hmm. policy that's a catastrophic high deductible, and I can pay the $95 and I can still be cheaper than what this policy and this new exchange will cost me. So insurance companies made some guesstimates, calculations, and, uh, and I believe, and I think we believe, and we're hearing that from some of the insurance companies, in the spring of 2014, when they start to project rates for 2015, that a lot of the rate shock that people are seeing today uh, will be small by comparison.